today's video is misconception of the mother's work and for those of you that are new to the channel i'm going through a book called the adventist home by ellen g white so please check it out you can buy it online or you can go online and read it for free so here we go the mother's work often seems to her an unimportant service it is a work that is rarely appreciated others know little of her many cares and burdens her days are occupied with a round of little duties all calling for patient effort for self-control for tact wisdom and self-sacrificing love yet she cannot boast of what she has done as any great achievement she has only kept things in the home running smoothly and at first at first when i read the last bit um i the last line i thought oh is she being a little facetious there the writer but then i realized no it's not that looking at it in context when she says here she has only kept things in the home running smoothly what that means is it's how us as women it's how we talk about what we do yeah you know i just did a bit of cleaning today nothing much these times you could have decluttered organized about 10 cupboards but because you just see it as oh yeah i just did this you don't see it as anything you know so obviously there's two extremes there's one way you're overly boasting like we don't want to be that type of person but then there's the other extreme where you just talk yourself down and put yourself down and i realized well of course shola i still slyly do this like even the other day we met a lovely couple and you know they asked as people do what do you two do and i said oh yeah i'm just at home with the girls and yes i said it in a nice way but it's the i'm i'm just at home i could have framed it by saying oh yeah well i'm full time at home with the girls as i'm homeschooling do you see how that sounds so different but when you say oh i'm just it's like you're feeding into your insecurity and then you're feeding into maybe a perception that people may have about women at home as well obviously you know i was reminded this week of a lovely quote we can't control how we're perceived by others but at the same time like we do have somewhat of a responsibility as to how we come across, you know, we are in control to a certain extent, right? And I don't wanna keep on feeding this narrative that, you know, stay at home mums are just at home and being lazy because that's really not true. And especially if you're someone like me who doesn't have a maid or some like a lot of assistance, a lot is on you. And that's not to shame anyone who has a maid because if we had the means i would get a maid i don't think there's any shame in getting a babysitter or a maid someone to cook every now and then if you can afford it go for it <laughs> do you see what i mean go for it but at the end of the day it's not just oh i just cleaned i just did that every single thing that we do takes so much time and effort it takes intellect, it takes dedication, passion, so many different character qualities to keep, to maintain a home, to keep it up and running. But we just continue to talk ourselves down. Well, you know, it's just this. So if it's just that, no wonder so many people don't wanna be at home because they think, oh, I'm just gonna be doing this all day. They're not looking at the science or psychology behind a lot of what they're doing to keep everyone in check, keep everybody flowing and keep the home going, you know? All right, our second quote, what an important work. And yet we hear mothers sighing for missionary work. If they could only go to some foreign country, they would feel that they were doing something worthwhile. But to take up the daily duties of the home life and carry them forward seems to them like an exhausting and thankless task. Mothers who sigh for a missionary field have one at hand in their own home circle. Are not the souls of her own children of as much value as the souls of the heathen? <laughs> you know, the ones that are heathen. <laughs> but isn't it so true? Like, it, it's just, you know, we look at our home and we're like, this is not enough. I've had those feelings of, oh, I want to do more. I need to be doing more. I've spoke on this channel about how I felt the need sometimes to say, look, look guys, I I'm doing a course, you know, just to let people know, look, I I I'm not just here. I am doing something with my time, you know, begging for that affirmation where God has entrusted me. He's given me the privilege to have two daughters, right? 
He's given me the privilege of being a mother, such a solemn and sacred work, such a beautiful experience. And it's been wonderful for me. Of course, I've resented having children. Of course, the children annoy me. Of course, there's times when I want to break. Come on, this is real life. But at the end of the day, in the grand scheme of things, I'm so grateful for my life. Do you see what I'm saying? I wouldn't want it any other way because the growth for me and my husband that we've had since becoming parents, the beauty of the love of a child, when they look at you, you're looking at them, you know, and the fact that you get to mold someone help and help, you know, by God's grace to put someone into the world who will be a blessing to others. There's so many benefits of being a mother. There's so many benefits of being a stay at home mother, a homemaker, right? But we need to stop looking down on it and think, oh, well, if only I was doing this and if only I was doing that, because we're chasing platforms and we're chasing opportunities that God hasn't even called us to. We have the ministry right here. That's what it's saying. And it's very humbling because let's be honest, we slightly don't always want to hear these things. We slightly don't want to hear like, oh, you mean just at home? Because of what we've been telling ourselves for so long and because of what society tells us. This is why, check it out if you haven't seen it. This is why I did a documentary called Examining the 1950s Housewife. Because I just noticed a lot of times hearing in the media, sorry, there's like bare dust and that. I just noticed sometimes hearing in the media, like little digs towards 1950s housewives and homemakers. So I wanted to challenge, how do you see homemakers? How do you see yourself as a woman? What has informed that? And taking a look at the things that have influenced our opinion on that, right? So please stop talking down yourself. If you're a stay at home, I'm watching this. It's a, it's a huge, it's a blessing. You're doing a wonderful work. And if you're a woman who's considering being at home and you and your spouse, you have the means to do it and you know it's the right time of life for you to do this, then please do. And look for the things to be grateful, right? Implement structure and organization into your home. Do the things that will make it somewhat easier for you and the children, because guess what? Parenthood is not easy, right? We know this, but there are certain things that we can do in relationships in our home to make it that much easier. Having organization, having good communication, listening to each other, all of these things. Oh, I could go on and on, but I don't want to ramble too much. So a verse of encouragement, Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. All right then, ladies, thank you for watching. And while you are still here, please remember to click like and subscribe. I know it's when I say, I say su subscribe, subscribe, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.